Okay, so so we had, you know, we're, we're back in school. Some people are some type of hybrid learning. We really haven't figured it out yet. And we haven't figured it out in a couple of areas. The first one is um, addressing what may be a perceived or an actual like learning loss, mm -hmm. right? And also the other area is, you know, returning back to school in person in some form or fashion. How do we set that up? What does that look like? How do we build the supports necessary so that people are ready to accept coming back in person, right? Like mm -hmm. where are people at, you know, mentally, you know, in terms of being able to accept that responsibility. There's been a lot of people that during this time, they haven't left their homes. You know, there's people that, right. you know, haven't ex been involved in other activities with other people. There's been, there's mm -hmm. been educators that have made decisions about whether or not they will return back to the profession that they decided to get into or not. And there's some people that have no choice, right? They, they, they need to work. They don't have the flexibility, their opportunities to walk away, even if they don't feel well or don't want to. And so I think we just need to have that lens every time we think about decisions that we make, um, think about planning for next year, for the upcoming school year, you know, um, what is that going to look like? You know, do we have supports in place for our students and our, do our educators know? Because it's, it's going to be a while until things flatten out for the most point in terms of really getting our footing and understanding what school is going to look like mm -hmm. moving forward. Um, so I think that's, you know, if we can get to a place where we as the leaders um, are able to recognize that and then act on it. And some of that is sharing some of our own vulnerability so people yeah. understand that we, we get it. I think that it'll begin to build that social capital that's necessary to create, to create an a environment that's conducive for success. So, the, and like you just said something that really reminded me of you, right? Your willingness to share your vulnerabilities, your willingness to share your story and all that you've done really puts at the center. And this is something I've been saying for a long time, but you really reminded me of this in your work and my connecting with you is that when you take care of people, stuff will get done. But if you focus too much on the stuff, you will lose people. And I think that to me, I think that's why I really so appreciated connecting with you, uh, really building our friendship over time. And just, I really look forward to watching you con to continue to inspire people, not only to really kind of take a step back and focus on how they can take care of themselves, but really in that how they do that to take care of others.